When people look at the Diego Rivera murals at the DIA, they often marvel at how beautifully he executed the machinery in the murals. When Rivera came here, he came with a natural inclination for mechanical things. As a child, he had loved mechanical toys, and as an adult, this translated into machinery, both for its own sake and also for what he perceived it could do for mankind. And um, a lot of people don't know that when Diego Rivera was here, one of the first things he apparently wanted to do was to come out and see what Henry Ford was doing with his museum and historical village um, in Dearborn. So he inquired about it and was told he could come the next day. His visit was very lengthy. According to his autobiography, he was here from approximately 7 in the morning until 1.30 a.m., which seems like a terribly long time, especially when he arrived. The village and museum were still in process. Henry Ford was still gathering buildings, installing them in Greenfield Village, and the museum itself was uh, certainly in flux. It appears that we've Rivera first went to Greenfield Village, where there would have been about 30 buildings um, scattered about. It would have looked perhaps a little bare, but he found some interesting things, particularly, and perhaps not surprisingly, the Sir John Bennett jewelry shop, which Henry Ford had brought over from London the previous year. This jewelry shop has mechanical figures that strike the quarter hour and the hour. Um, and Rivera said he was there to see it ring at 7 a.m. And he thought it uh, quite wonderful. He comes over to the museum. And now, granted, the village and museum were not open to the public yet. That wouldn't happen for approximately another year. But uh, the village had no fence around it, so you could wander at will, which he did. And then he came over to the museum. And you, uh, you had to be let in, because the museum, of course, was kept locked and was not able to be accessed by the casual visitor. But um, he was let in. And uh, the tour guide that Henry Ford had uh, provided for um, Diego um, let him in and said, Mr. Ford said to let you do whatever you want to do. So um, Rivera wanted to visit the museum by himself. So he thanked the tour guide and his assistant and apparently wandered around for hours in the museum. Now, what he found were um, a lot of mock-ups of uh, gatherings of artifacts by topic, say perhaps a blacksmith shop, um, some historical kitchens, uh, different sorts of things like that. And in fact, there were still workmen's things piled around, uh, ladders here, piles of materials or equipment there. But Rivera wandered around absolutely entranced. And the thing that he particularly mentions was coming in to see the steam engines, and especially the Newcomen engine, which is here behind us. It's a mid-18th century engine, the oldest of the engines in the museum, and absolutely a rare survival. And Rivera commented on that, how much he loved seeing it. And he also commented on how Henry Ford had lined up all of the steam engines and other things in the museum in order to uh, present, as he described it, a scientific view of um, the development of industry, of machinery, and other sorts of um, mechanical things that humans have used in the last couple hundred years. So in the end, I think he had a lovely time because Rivera was here for a very long time, and he was a knowledgeable visitor because he had spent the two and a half months before he started the mural looking around and soaking up impressions of Detroit industry, which he was to present in the mural. And so when he came to look at these less modern versions of machinery, I think he did it with a very practiced and appreciative eye.